Hey guys, I just wanted to come to you today and share you my experience from the last week and a half of trying to set up OBS with Discord. Um, I've wanted my Discord audio to come in to my headset uh, that I'm wearing and hear my game audio with my Discord chat coming in and not the Discord chat go to my live stream, but I still wanted my desktop audio to go to my live stream and my mic. So I had to figure out a way to separate them. Now I thought maybe I had to go out and buy some equipment, uh, maybe uh, purchase uh, something that would do the job for me. And I looked into that and uh, a buddy of mine said it's gonna be like a couple hundred bucks, a hundred dollars to $200 depending on what you wanted, but it would do the job. Um, and then I had to be contr manually controlling stuff and I just didn't wanna have to mess with it. So I was kind of like eager to find something that worked. So what I wanted to do today was kind of go over those findings. So in order for this process to happen, you're going to need a couple things installed on your computer. Obviously, you're going to need your OBS. Also, you're going to need Discord or maybe Skype so I can test that audio coming through on that channel and show you how it shows up uh, on this other program. First piece of software that you're going to have to buy after those two pieces of software are installed is Voice Meter Banana. It is free, um, and this is what the software looks like. They have multiple tabs up here at the top. You have um, your virtual audio cable, which is the second piece of software we're gonna be installing. You can use the download link here and install it. And then you're gonna use the voice meter banana. You're gonna wanna install it using probably the install exe file link here. Install that, get that downloaded, and install it. Restart, okay, immediately after you install it, it's gonna change your playback device, okay? And that's gonna mess you up because you're not gonna hear the audio coming in. Now, I have voice meter running right now um, so that you can hear my audio going through the OBS, but um, it's gonna look something similar to um, this after it's installed, okay? You're gonna see that, um, one, this is flashing because I want you to select a main output device as your first action. That's gonna require you to set that up and then set your controls up. So this is kind of the look of the default of how this is. Once you get back to your desktop, you're gonna right click sounds and you're gonna see here that you have playback and recording. Those are the only two tabs you need here, okay? Um, for your playback, you're of course wanna choose the microphone that you're using. That's either the microphone off your headset or that's gonna be a microphone off of your um, you know, external that you're using. I'm using a Blue Yeti, so I'm gonna choose my Blue Yeti here and I'm gonna make sure that it's set as default. If it's not set as default, then obviously it's not going to uh, uh, work or give you any audio feed. I'm gonna leave it as a default for me because you're hearing me through the mic right now. Now your playback is gonna be voice meter input, okay? Because we want all the desktop audio, which is your game, your YouTube video inputs, your music, um, to go through a controllable channel. And that is what we're gonna set it as, is voice meter input. So that later when we set it up in voice meter, we can output the copy of that and anything else we wanna to add to that into OBS. And I'm going to go and set up a new scene. Um, you're gonna to want to add in a microphone capture. If I click on the plus sign here, you're gonna do a audio input capture. You're gonna hit add source. Um, you can name this, and what I named it is voice meter aux, okay? So voice meter auxiliary, I'm gonna call it two because I already have one. And, and it's, it's gonna, gonna say, say what, what device, device are we trying, trying to pick up on? Now, now we, we want it to be, um, the voice meter aux output, okay? This is, uh, in, the, in the software program, it's gonna be voice meter aux and voice meter bio, I guess is how you pronounce that. Uh, we want it to be the secondary. The secondary is gonna be what we're controlling and that goes into our stream, so we're gonna choose that. Now, this is the setting that's on this channel right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this so that it's not there, but you can see that the audio channel is coming through here and that's the setting of it. If I go to properties here, you'll see that it is the voice meter auxiliary, okay? So everything coming in through that voice meter is gonna show up in here. And the other settings in here is to go into your audio and you're gonna disable everything, okay? You're gonna disable all of these channels, every single one of them except the, um, whichever one you're using. You can do it on the mic auxiliary device one, that's fine. I just happened to set mine up on two, but you're gonna set that up as the voice meter auxiliary bio, okay? That's the same setting. Um, and then what that's gonna do is make sure that the only thing coming in here is that channel. So that's pretty much everything in Streamlabs. I'm gonna move this off to the edge. Now I'll open up Discord, okay? And we're gonna go to the settings down here we're gonna to go to voice and video, okay? Now, you're gonna set your input devices, your microphone, obviously, whatever microphone you plan on using. 
and you're gonna set your output device to the cable input. Now the cable input, that is what was installed when you installed the uh, virtual audio cable. And you're gonna choose this to separate the audio between your desktop and your Discord. So your audio is gonna go through your cable input here. And I max out the volume because I can control that in voice meter. That's basically all you need to do for Discord. All right, now we're gonna open up the voice meter. And these are the current settings I have right now to stream this video. Now I'm gonna go over this real briefly. So the first thing that's gonna tell you to do, of course, is to set up your hardware out. That's gonna be all your output devices that you wanna to use to hear what's going through this, okay? So for example, I want my headset. I have it plugged into the front panel on my computer, but I could also have it plugged into my Yeti mic, okay? I could have it plugged into my back of my computer, which is a different different audio input, or my set of speakers off my monitor, okay? So there's a lot of options I could choose. I chose my headphones because that's where I want the majority of my audio going through so that people around me can't hear my gameplay and, and people talking and things of that nature. But let's say I wanted it to be my monitor, I could check my monitor. The second one, I don't really use another set of speakers, but I do like this to be set up so I can if I choose to. So this would be like my monitor setup. I'm gonna to choose to be able to output my monitor. My monitor has a headphone jack. So I have a little headphone dangle here and I can plug in like another set of headset or I can route it to my set of speakers that are on my desk. And then I can just turn my speakers on. And if I want something to go to the speakers, I can turn on these additional channels. All this is gonna be, this is your default look here. I want you to turn off all your channels on all of them, okay? So that you can understand how this works. Um, this is how I've learned it, and this is how I think that you'll probably benefit from learning it too. Um, first of all, uh, we want to set up the first channel for your microphone, because that's going to be the audio coming in from your mic that's going to go to your OBS. So I could rename this by right-clicking. I can type in Yeti mic or whatever device you have. I can press enter. It's going to rename that so I know what that channel is. Um, and this is your noise gateway. So um, if I leave it down, you're going to hear everything. You might even hear what's around me. There's always gonna be audio on the channel because you're hearing noise. I don't want all that noise in my background, so I'm gonna turn this up to a healthy five. Um, and that's about where I have it now. I mean, I change that as I see fit, but when I stop talking, the channel dies. Okay, so I'm not going to have just this background noise always feeding into my stream. All right, the second channel um, you're going to add in here is the Discord. So I'm going to name that Discord, or you can name it Skype. You're going to set this as your cable output. Okay, that also goes back to the virtual audio cable. So cable output is going to be selected here because uh, that matches up with what you set in Discord. So if we go back to set up cable input. Okay, so cable input and you're gonna put in here, cable output. So anything that comes in through Discord is going to uh, pop up in this channel, okay? Uh, if I open up Skype, which I don't use Skype, so forgive me, but um, I do know it has a test feature in here where you can test your audio. And if you set the speakers to cable input, so you can click that to test the audio without having somebody on the Discord side talking to you to verify it's working, um, but that's basically um, that the simple test I'll show you to show that channel is active and it's showing up in the stream. I just played it. You saw the channel's levels move, but you didn't hear it. That's because it's not going to my stream right now. I'm actually controlling that through these options here. All right, so what are all these things? Okay, you have A1, A2, and A3. Those correspond to the hardware outputs. I don't have anything on three. I only have going to my headphones and going to my monitor. Okay, for this, I'm gonna go to my headphones um, and that's going to uh, allow me to hear whatever I have set as A1. So if I wanna hear my mic in my headset, I can turn it on. Now when I turn it on, I can now hear it in my headset, which is really annoying, but it allows me to test my mic, how it's coming through, what my threshold is for my gate, and know when it picks back up when I talk again. If I wanted to play through my speakers on my desk, I can do that and you're gonna hear yeah, echo coming, coming through the microphone and you're gonna hear feedback because it's coming through my speakers now that I have A2 turned on. If you want it through both, you can turn it on and leave it on both, but most people are gonna just put it towards B2. Okay, now what's B2? B1 and B2 are these virtual inputs. You have your voice meter vial and your voice meter aux. These are two duplicate channels that it installed when you installed voice meter. 
Okay, this is how you control what goes into your uh, stream versus what you hear in your headset. Your voice file here is basically your desktop audio. Remember, it's going to be whatever we set as our default playback. You hear what's coming through because I'm passing that audio through to my B2. What would happen? I want to hear that in my headset because I want to hear my game audio. I want to make sure that the A1's turned on to goes to my headset. And I also want to make sure that I'm replicating that noise to the auxiliary port, which is what's set in my OBS. I have Discord set up to go to my headset as well. If I wanted to go to my uh, OBS and I wanted them to hear the people that I'm talking with, I can turn on B2. And what's in MPEP, and I'll show you as we go to Skype and we do a test, I'm not going to say anything through my mic, you're not going to hear anything through me, but I'm going to hit the test audio. And you're going to see that you can hear that audio chime come through. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to turn off B2. You don't hear anything. You just hear me. So that's how you can control that Discord audio or that Skype audio coming in is by turning that B2 on or off. You want this to run when you turn on your computer because by default, most of your audio is going to go through that virtual um, voice meter input. And if you don't have this running, you're going to start watching YouTube and you're not going to be able to hear anything or you're going to be starting your game and not hear anything. So you're going to want this to do system tray run at startup. And I always do always visible so that if I'm clicking around and I'm trying to get to the setting, it doesn't disappear on me and it's always going to be on top. But that's pretty much how I got the audio working. Okay, so it didn't cost anything um, and we were able to get it working. Sum the whole thing up. All you need is to install voice meter banana your virtual audio cable, which are both free and available online. Get your OBS set up. Make sure you set up your Discord or your Skype and set the output to cable input. Um, then you wanna make sure your playback device is uh, set up to be voice meter uh, VIO as the input and your recording de default to be your microphone. Um, on your voice meter banana, you're gonna want uh, your mic to go to B2, so it's on the live stream. You're going to want your Discord or whatever you set up set up on channel 2 as cable output and going to your main headphones. If you want them to be on your uh, stream, then you can turn on B2. And then, of course, make sure that your hardware output is set up to your, your defined stuff. So define what A1 is, define what A2 is. If you have a third device, you can define what that is. If you have another input coming in, you can also uh, use your third output here. But this gives you a lot of customization, a lot of ability to control your audio. And it's a pain in the butt to figure out the first time. So I hope this helped you. All right, guys, I just spent the last uh, hour editing this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, help me out. Encourage me with some, uh, with some love. And uh, you'll see some more content in the future. I appreciate your time. And uh, God bless.